bracket of the home home games between the Nutrier Trevians and the Maine South Hawks this time at Nutrier. A couple of days ago, these two teams met. And a one hitter. And we had a couple of rain dates, had one rain date thrown in the middle. And Ben Sikor hit by the pitch to lead things off. Timmy O'Brien, the batter. O'Brien got the only hit in that uh, one hitter. Baseball action moving along a couple of weeks away from the playoffs. And ground ball. Shortstop bobbles it and everybody's safe. So two on but nobody out. And Xander Luchin, the batter. Giant outside of all, ball one. Swinging a high pop up foul. Third baseman going over for it and drops it. Swing it around ball. First baseman knocked it down and steps on the bat. Runners advance to second and third. One away. And Bobby Rinaldi, the batter. Runners with their lead. Pitch outside of ball. I'll make it a strike on the outside corner. We got a slow umpire here. And high and outside of ball. Magnus Syverson on the mound today. Syverson. Swinging the fall tip, got a little piece of it. One and two on the count. And ground ball foul. Count holds. The IHSA changed up how they assign regionals and uh, in some ways it doesn't make sense and others it does it doesn't make sense based on field conditions at some of the places they've chosen this year but it makes sense in that it spreads it out instead of schools having to go to the same high school put themselves at a disadvantage Some of the high schools that are middle to lower end. And strike three. And Ronaldi is out on strikes. And here's Mark Altman. Used to be a bidding process. Unfortunately, when it comes to the sectionals, it appears we're still at the same general area of uh, bidding for the sectional. Second of a strike. No 
Well, Charlie Tilson has just been brought up by the Chicago White Sox. Strike three. And we're done with the top half of the first inning. After a half inning of play, no score. Trevians come to bat. Henry Pelinski fouls one off for a strike. Strike one. We're here at Dutrier. Got a couple of things going on in the game in real time tomorrow. It's senior day. And it's also the reunion of the 2009 state championship team. Foul ball. Now we know one player that's not going to be there, and that's Charlie Tilson. Tilson was a sophomore on that team. And another one fouled off. That 2009 group was a perfect example of a team that worked together as a team, beating a bunch of individuals that had credential. Fly ball out to center. Take over the out. Everyone was talking about St. Rita that year. Here's a strike. And also adds to the adage, the team that gets over the butterflies first. The team that wins. Pitches high a ball. And low ball. Line shot to right field. And Cal Marin with the single. After Pelinski fouled out, a flight out to center. So one out, one out. Jack Miller, the batter. And foul ball for strike one. Bounces in for a 55 footer. But Marin was not going. Throw over to first. Keep the runner on us. They lock and load, that's high a ball. The Jack Miller, and the count's gone blackjack. And a high bounder, shortstop, will take it himself over to first in time for the double play. And we're done with the first inning. And the other one, no score between Nutria and Maine South, and we'll be back. On the cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. At dusk, dawn, or night, make sure you turn on your lights. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. No score between Maine South and New Trent. Connor Layton leading it off. Takes a pitch outside on the first offering of the inning by Magnus Severson. And the pitch low ball. Two and out. Come on, Layton. 
Jason Yusani on deck. Blackjack on the count. And ball three. Make it a strike. Again, he's slow on the signal. Sorry about that. Now the pitch. And ball four. So late in the board. And you sent the batter. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. Uh, the delivery. Yeah, runner thought to go, but stayed put. He's a Quinn on deck. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike. One and two. Again, the throw over a runner back. Maine South is in the sectional pod with Nutrier, but we'll play a different regional. Foul tip. Got a little piece of it. And strike three on the outside corner. One away. Ethan Quinn, the batter. Got around at first via walk. A rare sunshiny day. Been pretty rare this spring. A little outside of ball. Another one outside of ball. And outside of ball. Sure, shot gone deck. There's a strike. Outfield playing pretty much straight away and somewhat shallow. Got the first runner back. So a little round ball and a whoopsie. And they will not even attempt to throw to first. So two on. And one out. And number nine, the batting order for the Maine South Hawks. Nate Jarrett Foul ball. Strike one. Strike two. Uh, the foul ball. Go 
Strike three. Come looking on the outside corner. Two way. And leadoff batter Ben Sigar got hit by a pitch. First time up. He did go. Strike one. Get a bad strike two. They lock in the load just a little outside of the ball. And load away a ball. <laughs> and a base hit to right. They're going to send the runner. Here comes the throw. They get it into the infield, but let the run score. And Maine South on the board. That's the first run for Maine South in nine innings. And only the second hit they've had against Trevian pitchers. Scoop dead and fall out of play. Got to be a windshield whacker down the line. Now they pitch, swing and a miss, straight. Outside a ball. Well, join us here on the network. Baseball all season long. And low it outside a ball. Little old foul tip, got a little piece of it. And a ball. Well outside. Got away a little bit from Don Strickland. There go the runners. And strike three on the inside corner. And we're done with the top half of the second. But Main South scores first. And at the end of an inning and a half, 
It's the Maine South Hawks one and Nutrier nothing. Dugogas leading it off. Fouls one off, off to the left side. And my voice a little scratchy today. Outside the ball. And a strike on the outside corner. To Duke. And a pitch high ball. Swing and a miss, strike three, and August is out. What a wait. Here's Preston Anderson. And he takes a strike, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two to Anderson. And swing it away, strike three. So two up, two down quickly for the Trevians and Charlie Bradell, the batter. And he takes a strike, strike one. Well outside of all. Fouled away, windshield whacker back behind us. Yeah, fall ball, this one off to the left. Rodell bats. Eddie Harvey on deck. They look in, and the pitch, and that's inside the ball. This is a freshman pitching for Maine South. And outside the ball. Shot up over the third baseman. That's a base hit. And Brodell, second hit of the ball game for the Treviants. New Trier with three errors already on the ball game. Shave and haircut, two bits. Eddie Harvey has to duck and cover. Runner with lead off first. Pitch on the way. That's high ball. And again. High and tight ball. And Eddie Harvey does a little glaring out there. And ball four. So two on with two out. And Donald Strickland, the batter. Brodell at second. Harvey at first. They lock and load and right down the middle for a strike. Get away, 
Time called, no pitch. That's your box, Donnie. And a strike. <laughs> they look back. A long one. And the pitch. And strike three. And we are done with the second inning. At the end of two, it's Main South. One, New Trier, nothing. We'll be back. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buckle up, Illinois. It's the law. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. one nothing Main South. New Trier with three errors already in this ballgame. Xander Buchan letting it on. And the first offering is outside for a ball. Ball one. Top of the third inning. Blow it inside a ball. Yeah, well outside of ball. Simonson on the bound. Yeah, ball four. So lead off walk. And Bobby Rinaldi the batter. Courtesy runner over there. Nate Smith. Blow it outside, a ball. Goes to Bunt, Bunt's a foul for a strike. The idea was good, the execution didn't quite work. Down to first, runner back. There goes the runner and stolen base. They are calling that an error. So it's not a stolen base, it's an error. Fourth error of the ball game for the Trevians. We're only in the third inning. There's a strike. Strike on the outside corner and strike three. And Rinaldi is out by a strikeout for the second time in the ball game. And they, here's Mike Altman. I called him Mark, I think, first inning. I'm sorry about that. Swing and a miss, strike. Hey, 
Yeah, people always talk about North Suburbs, oh, you can't get noticed. I met a lot of players in a lot of sports that have come out of the North Shore. There's a strike. Couple in ice hockey, couple in baseball, football. They don't tell me you can't get noticed playing in high school in the North Suburbs because it's not true. Main South. I know they've had a couple of baseball players. I remember one of them in uh, Admiral Salas played for Oakland and San Diego. Strike three. Well, two strikeouts following the initial walk. And Connor Layton, the batter. Who turned out has five players that have been Major League Baseball players. I think I'm wrong on that. I think there's actually six. Six players. Outside of all, of course, the latest being Charlie Tilson. Yeah, it's been six. Pete Burnside. Chuck Lindstrom. John Castino. Mike Huff, Ross Baumgarten, and Charlie Tilson. And strike three. And following the initial walk, left stranded. We go to the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third inning. one nothing in favor of Maine South. Alex Mendez leading it up. And my pop up down the line, giving Chase triangle shot. Drops in fair. And Alex Mendez on his way to second. He'll make it with the double. A lead off double to start things off here in the bottom of the third. And back to the top of the batting order. And Henry Pilinski, the batter. And a strike said it dropped dead. And a ball low. Swing and a miss, straight. <laughs> to the right fielder, Henry Polinski. Time called by Polinski, he steps out. And the throw back to second. Got back. And again, the look back. And in the dirt of ball. Now the pitcher. And the base runner, are both freshmen. Pitcher for Maine South, the base runner for Dutrier. <laughs> and a 
And that's a low ball. And the count's gone full, I believe. Three and one. And a ground ball. Second baseman, nice stop. Over to first, they got him. On the play, over to third. Goes Mendez and Cal Merritt, the batter. Infield pulled in looking for a play at the pit. plate. Ball, low it outside. The look over and the pitch on the way and a ground ball. They're going to try to go home. They did, and fielder's choice, and it didn't work. Mendez home to score, and we're tied at one. So Cal Marin with the hard ground ball. He pulled an infield, the fielder's choice, and it didn't work, and the run home. And through for the base hit is Jack Miller's single. So Miller aboard at first. Let's go, buddy. Marin at second. And Duke Ogus, the batter. Swing and a miss, straight. Swing and a miss, straight. are loaded. What up? And Preston Anderson, the batter. Yeah, the pitch high a ball. Side a ball. Ball, ball back by Anderson. They'll be sure to join us here on the network. The playoffs. We'll be doing the playoffs. Summer baseball. Ball ball back to the screen. Delivery. Inside a ball, and I think the count's gone full. Yeah, and three and two. With the bases loaded. And 
Strike three on the outside corner. So two out, and Charlie Brodell, the batter. And he takes a pitch outside for a ball, ball one. Swing it a bit straight. What a what? To Brodell. Bottom of the third. We were cruising along here and then all of a sudden things have slowed up a little bit. Here's a strike. And a high pop-up foul, and back behind us, windshield whacker in the parking lot. And he did go, strike three, and we're done with the third. At the end of three, we're all tied up at one. We'll be back. This is New Trier Baseball on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Phone in one hand, ticket in the other. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning, 1-1 one, one tight. And pitch low it outside a ball. So through 10 innings, Maine South has managed only two hits. Against New Trim pitching. Magnus Iverson delivers. And a ball. The pitch caught the outside corner first strike. Outfield playing straight away and shallow. And ball four. And Isan Yusani aboard. And Ethan Quinn the batter. Nate Smith again, the courtesy runner. Took a little while for him to get out there. A couple of years ago, the Maine South team, uh, you can see right under the flagpole out there, there's a new Trier emblem. And the Maine South sophomore team went out there and deliberately kicked it apart, destroyed it out there. There goes the runner. Nope, he's going to stay. Ethan Quinn, number eight in the batting order for the Maine South Hawks. I pop up, first baseman takes it for the out. And the courtesy runner had to scamper on back. Number nine in the batting order. And 
fly ball, right field down the line. Caught for the out. Two down. And Ben Sikor, the batter. Get the screen in the way. It's not easy to move around. There's a strike. I know it's a lot of parents now do like I do and shoot through the screen, get that screen out of the way for their shot. They're not bold enough to do it when it's netting. I'll do it with the netting, but parents, I think, a little more scared of that, getting a foul ball back at them. Now the pitch. There goes the runner and a stolen base. Two out, runner at second. Top of the fourth inning. On the pitch, and foul tip. Got a little piece of it. Strike three. And we're done with the top of the fourth. Score remains tied at one. Halfway home with the ball game. Halfway home with the ball game, and it is 1 1 between Main South and New Trier. Bottom of the fourth. Eddie Harvey leading it off. Takes a pitch well outside for a ball. Ball one. And a strike. And a fly ball. It's going to get past the left fielder down the line. Just making a diving attempt for it. Right along the line. And Eddie Harvey. Lead off double. Here's Donald Strickland. Shortened the button, took the ball. Again, shortening up as if the button took a pitch for a ball. Now does punt, pick up the throw, and threw it away. And coming home to score is Harvey, and the Trevians take the lead two to one. And Avery Chatterton, the courtesy runner, over at first. And Nutri now letting it two to one. Here's Alex Mendez. And he squares the bun. Gonna do the sacrifice, make it work this time. Moving Chatterton over to second. One away. Henry Pelinski in the batter. Got a little piece of it, fall tip, strike. They look back again, the pitch. Swing it a bit, strike. Yeah. 
And strike three. Here's Cal Merritt. You know, one thing you look for in high school players are consist uh, is consistency. That uh, every time they got out, they come up to the plate. Every time they're out there on the field, whatever, they're consistent. They they do their job. They they know where they're supposed to be. That sort of thing. And the mark of a great player is the ability to do that day in and day out, no matter where they are. I've had a lot of people this week, this past week in real time, talking to me about Charlie Tolson, of course, because he's been brought back up to the White Sox so asking about Charlie thinking back on uh, Matt Lottick from this game because Main South the Main South student contingent five years after Lottick had graduated they were still uh, derisively cheering New Trier Basically, that Lodic was so good and don't have him anymore. And in both cases, uh, you know, I can think of other players, Dusty Napoleon, for instance, that uh, day in and day out, they were just consistent players. Did their job. And a pitch high, ball four. And Calmera to board, so that's puts two on with two out. And Jack Miller is the batter. Scooped foul. Down the third baseline. We're in the bottom of the fourth. 2 1. Now the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. And outside a ball. One and two. To Miller. Chatterton with the lead. Marin with the lead. Ball ball off to the right. Straight. Uh, count holds, rather. Hey, trying to get that ball? Yeah. And high a ball. And swing it a bit, strike three. And we're done with the fourth. It's 2 1. New Trier leading Maine South. As we go to the fifth, we'll be back with more. Watch great games of the past on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Texting while driving is illegal in Illinois. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Trevians have taken the lead here, 2 to 1, going into the top of the fifth inning. Jimmy O'Brien 
leading it up. And a ball, ball, what? Magnus Stevenson still on the bat. Scooped it and a fly ball to right field. And Andre Polinski takes it for the out. Out number one. Xander Buchan and he's got himself a base hit to right. Single. The catcher for Maine South. And Bobby Rinaldi, the batter. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be a strike. Got a first runner back. Yeah, foul ball. So run around at first, one out. Baseball action from New Trier. And what has turned into a rather lengthy ball game here. We're only in the fifth inning. Now they pitch. High it outside. It was a pitch out. Runner wasn't going. A ball. Oh, and outside a ball. It kind of proof that the regular season kind of, in some ways, yeah, our only game quizzes, it really doesn't mean very much. I think back to that 2006 season. Uh, St. Patrick made it all the way to the final four, I think, or the final eight. Not final eight. And they had a losing record. There goes the runner, ground ball, picked up by the second baseman out at first. They'll throw it at third. They got him there, too. Double play. Four, three, uh, five on the double play. At the end of four and a half, New Trier two and Main South one. Main South with one run on two hits and an error. Dutrier, two runs on five hits and four errors. Duke Ogus leading off the inning. Bottom of the fifth. Takes a pitch outside for a ball. Ball one. And upstairs for a ball. Yeah, straight. And the ball inside. Swing it a bit straight. Strike three. And Duke Golgus is out in five strikeouts. And strikeout. And here's Preston Anderson.
First baseman takes the pitch outside for a ball, ball one. Scooped in and fouled away. Yeah, strike on the outside corner. And pitch high a ball. Swing and a bench strike three. And that is two away. Both five strikeouts. Here's Charlie Prodell. And he takes a strike. And a high fly ball down the left field line. Give chase. Nope, not going to be able to get to it. Nice try, though. 55 footer for a ball. And fall back for a windshield whacker. And low it outside, a ball. Yeah, and swing it a bit, strike three. Struck out the side, three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, no open to the left. We play two five, and it's still two nothing. New trail leading Maine South. We'll be back. On the cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. New Church still has a big rivalry games between Evanston and the, the Trevians. That's coming up. The New Trier home game will be at Northwestern University again. And first man face hit by the pitch to lead off the inning. And Connor Layton, the batter. We got a pinch runner over there. And the bunt foul. John Perkins now on the mound. In relief of Magnus Syverson. Go with the bunt. The sacrifice got to work. Move the runner along. Throw to first. They got him. And over to second goes the pinch runner. He's on Yusani. And he takes a pitch outside the ball. And Perkins throws the strike. What a what? Yeah, strike on the outside corner. And drops it in, but went a little high, a ball. Oh, 
Runner with the leadoff second. Ball tip, got a little piece of it. They look back, the delivery, swing at the best, strike three. Two away. And Ethan Quinn, the batter. Here's a strike. Trevians with four errors in this ball game, all of them early. Outside of all. New chair will come in as number five in the sectional seating. Light pop up, foul, and out of play. Out beyond the batting cages down the line. Ball tip. Get the runner to get back. Yeah, the ball. Again, dropped in, but dropped in to high. Isn't Quinn the batter? And a ground ball, and uh, whoopsie. And everybody's safe. So runners at the corners with two out. And a high pop up. The fielder going to take it for the out. And we're done with the top half of the sixth inning. Main South hit batter at error. Two left, threaten, and don't come up with anything. Go to the bottom half of the six. Two one, favor of the Trevians. Here's Eddie Harvey. And he takes a strike, strike one. Bottom third of the batting order due up here at the bottom of the six. New pitcher on the mound. And yeah, strike. No, make that a ball. Okay. <laughs> All ready. Don't second guess the up. Windshield Wacker off to the right. Umpires are like your mother. They're always right. Even when they're wrong, they're right. Now the pitch. And straight. Three and got away from the catcher, but Eddie Harvey didn't even go to first. Didn't pay attention. Donald Strickland, the batter. A high pop up. Foul territory, third base. Uh, first base went over and has it. Made it an adventure. Two out. Alex Mendez, the batter. And he takes a strike, strike one. And low ball. 
Now the lock and load in there for straight. And straight three. And the Trevians go quietly in the sixth. Hold them go home time. We go to the seventh. 2-1, New Trier leading Main South. On the cable and the internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. Parents who host lose the most. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the seventh inning. 2-1, New Trier leading Main South. Top of the batting order due up for the Hawks. You know, that last break about uh, teenage drinking over the course of my career, and it's been 49 years now I've been working on high school sports. Ground ball. Second baseman over to first in time as Sikora out for out number one. Here's Timmy O'Brien. New pitcher on the mound, John Keenan. Sidewinder, and he hits a ground ball. And second baseman to first for the out. Two down. And over the course of my 49 years, I've buried yeah, probably close to 75 young people. And out of those 75, I would say 65 of them have been drinking issues. Get your low ball. Not all of them drinking and driving. And ball four on four pitches. The catcher who's on board by the walk. And Bobby Ronaldi, the batter. <laughs> Strike on the outside corner. And a hot shot foul. Down the right field line. Down in the corner, out in the street. I can sing. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I never know. My voice is going to hold out. Ooh, didn't miss by much. A little inside of all. <laughs> and gets away. Runner will trot out over to second. Representing the tying run. And Griffin Road now out there as the courtesy runner. Pitch is well outside of all. Fouled off, but all they hanging in there. We ran out of baseballs. Somebody retrieve one and throw it back in. There we go. And strike three, and the ball game is all over. Caught him on the inside corner. And the Trevians win this one. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up. You're watching baseball on the Metro Chicago.
Sports Network. Be a good sport. Sport a winning attitude. A message in the public interest for the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Final word on this ball game for the new Trier Trevians. Two runs, five hits. Way high on the errors. They had five. Also high on the strikeouts. They were struck out 12 times. They were walked three. And they those three did figure, in a sense, in the uh, scoring. Seven left on base for the new Trier Trevians. For the Bain South Hawks, one run, two hits, one error. They were struck out ten times by Trevian pitchers. Walked just four. They left nine on base and one stolen base. So that'll do it for us for this game. Stick around for more sports action on the network. And for all of us, hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Watch this game on demand on YouTube. And we say as always, thanks for watching and so 